What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And I'm Zuff. And today we are back with episode seven of Wednesday. This one is called If You Don't Woe Me By Now. Last episode, we saw Wednesday. She was lurking around the Gates mansion. She saw the mayor there, uh, heard him on the phone, sort of talking to, was it the sheriff? Yeah, Galvin. Yeah, yeah he was talking to Galvin on the phone. He was like, yo, meet me at this diner right now. Um, I found, he f discovered some like breaking information that was going to change everything and wednesday hopped in the back of his truck car was it like the like trunk or something yeah something oh yeah i remember now it was the trunk of his suv and they got to the diner to talk going inside and he the mayor got absolutely just run over mm -hmm. just hit and run someone ran him over drove away and we he, do not know who it is they were they didn't really give us a good look um blue cadillac no plates yeah. blue cadillac no plates that's our Pretty much the only information we have to go off of for whoever did yeah. this to the mayor. I do think the mayor is dead, though. Someone pulled the plug yeah, at the end. Yeah, they did so. pull the plug. I don't think he is with us anymore. <laughs> I feel bad for Lucas. But speaking of Lucas, he did have a little moment that episode with Bianca. They hung out for a little bit. Um, they're building something. Yeah, I think we're going to get some character development between those two. And I think they're a good couple, so I hope that works out. But speaking of that blue Cadillac... Um, Wednesday, Enid and Tyler, they uh, Wednesday tricked them to going back to the Gates Manor later that night, said she wanted to do it for her birthday present. And she discovered a lot there. She discovered that the blue Cadillac was parked in the garage. She discovered that the monster was in there. <laughs> I mean, the monster Not was... Not at the time, but yeah. yeah. he was. They were like living there. The monster was in the place. Uh, it scratched Tyler. Could be Tyler because we didn't see Tyler and the monster on the same screen at the same time. So I don't know, but she also discovered all these body parts in the basement from where all the murders were coming. So I wonder if uh, that's where, like the Frankenstein book that was given to her by Thornhill. I think that might have something to do with it. I don't know. We just, it could be so many people right I, now. I, well, I think another big thing with the Gates house was like when they were investigating yeah, it was the flowers. Every, everything was destroyed. Like every, all the rooms were messed up except for the daughter's room. Like it was very well kept. It looked like someone was living in it, like and I think fresh sheets, stuff like that. And the flower, the flowers in there were the, the, same, the same flowers that the therapist brought. Yeah, to Eugene, the, the therapist was. I mean, and the therapist knows how to do tax taxidermy. Mm -hmm. Taxidermy. Yeah. So maybe um, she's responsible for all this like body parts, and if she wants to stuff them or something, I don't know. I I've honestly feel like it could be like a group effort from multiple people. Maybe it like, might be everyone, but Wednesday need it. <laughs> maybe it's not like one bad guy like we've been looking for. I don't know, but I definitely feel super sussed about the therapist now. Like that's way too many things that point towards her being involved with this for sure. But there's still this thing going on with the whole Joseph Crackstone and like the what was it fire will rain something when, yeah. when i rise i believe fire will rain they saw i think recently that it's actually in his crypt so that's where it comes from and don't know who actually did that but what does that mean when he rises because in the photo of wednesday she is actually fighting joseph crackstone mm -hmm. looked like so how is he gonna come back I, f I still could see what i said a few episodes ago like someone collecting these parts to like somehow put together joseph Crackson. a person or yeah. something i don't know because like you just mentioned if it is the therapist she knows taxidermy she knows how to put stuff together i don't know i am but i'm really interested to see who the monster is what everyone's roles kind of are so far but at the time we're recording this, we know there is a season two announced. So that's really awesome. So definitely more has to happen. But I really hope they let us know who the monster is this season because it's been like kind of the the lurking thing that we've been wondering about the whole time. And I really hope they let us know. And also, Sheriff Galpin said that Tyler cannot see Wednesday anymore. So I wonder if she's gonna sneak out or anything because she also got another chance with Principal Weems. Last strike. Yeah. I, I also want to see what happens with her and Enid's like friendship. Yeah, like, they're they're on the outs right now. Enid, you moved out. Enid kind of just said like you don't treat your friends well. Uh, it's it's not fair and and left. Like she said, she's gonna go stay with someone else. And um, I I don't think that's gonna sit right with Wednesday. I think she's gonna 
real if you're gonna realize she needs to be a better friend all right guys so that is pretty much it before we do get into the episode if you have been liking all the wednesday reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe over 81 percent of you guys are not subscribed so please take two seconds hit the sub button it helps us out a lot we'd really really appreciate it check out all the links in our description as well we have the patreon discord all of our social media is down there as well as the address to our po box so send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time with all that being said guys we're gonna get right into this episode wednesday episode seven if you don't woe me by now let's do it oh no what happened is this a funeral oh is this for gates maybe, maybe eugene and gates we no it's for the mayor oh the mayor yeah we just think thought it was cool. gonna be a flashback mayor walker was murdered and i know oh, the no here. lucas i don't even want to oh plotting their next move Damn, bro. It was you! All these evil people They're are showing, showing all the it suspects. It was all of you! All the suspects. Someone Kill killed him who knew about that house. Probably the person who is that? Yeah, what is that? That was Joseph Crackstone. Who the Whoa. hell is this even? Wednesday's after him. Just chase him. I think it's a guy. It's the one who blew up the cave for sure. No, that was the sheriff. We don't know that. Oh, mm -hmm. I guess so. What in the world? Whoa! Oh, it's a cane sword. Whoa, whoa, it's whoa. a cane sword. As sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. Uncle Fester. Uh, Uncle Fester. Yo. Oh, I know him. Uncle Fester. He's the guy from Austin Powers. I didn't. Your dad got all the brains. He's a, he's got a, no he's wait. In on him. That's the guy from he's SNL from and did Portlandia. Dagger clucks between my teeth just to keep. You know who I'm talking about? I can't remember I know his SNL. name. He was on SNL and he had a spinoff show at Portlandia. The Beehive. This place digging. belongs to a friend. He's gonna he's gonna end up being friends with Eugene and taking care of this place. Those bees are hibernating. They're practically Eugene's children. That means do not eat them. Don't eat the bees, bro. What are you doing? I hope it's Uncle Fet. Oh, I was gonna hide. say. I hope he just knows what it is. Jekyll and Hyde. Mm. Okay, so it, it's a man that turns into a beast, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You try Nathaniel Faulkner's diary. Where is it? Nightshade's library. Oh. Your dad parked me there. Said I should settle in for a long stretch. It's like the basement, right? Yeah, of Nevermore. Of course, Goody is nowhere to be found when I need her. Enid. Dad can be just as annoying and Yeah. I'm just here to get more stuff. Yeah. I can't seem to find my bottle of Silver Moon nail polish. Do you mind if I look around? This is the third time in 24 hours you've forgotten something. He just mm. wants to come back. He wants an apology. You overcommit to clubs and activities and then complain about them nonstop. I take that over your obsession with all things creepy and dead. You could gas an entire small village with the amount of perfume you spray. <laughs> Let's just off the top. Airing out all the the beef. Yeah. Enjoy your solitude Wednesday. It's not solitude mm. if you're still here. <laughs> the beef is still there. Where's yeah, it's bad. Where's the thing at right now? He's off somewhere. Probably doing a mission. Uncle Fester? Who's Uncle Fester? Oh, mm. shoot. I've been on your side since day one. I literally saved your life. Like, what do I get in return? Just nothing but suspicion and lies. Fine. You want honesty? Here it is. Every time the monster has attacked, you have been right. Mm. I didn't realize proximity was a crime. Then there's okay, your drawing dude. obsession. Now you want to leave. You have drawn the monster dozens of times. Yeah, you know exactly what it looks like, bro. And you know, like, the, the hideout, what it looked like. You think I would hurt Eugene? Let's not forget your oh-so-convenient appearance after Tyler had been attacked at the Gates Mansion. <laughs> That one was weird. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that literally just happened so we would be sauce of him. Why haven't I killed you? Because for some reason I cannot fathom or indulge you seem to like me. What's to like? I don't know, man. You tell us. I think you like her. <laughs> That's what you'd be like, oh, wow. That was a good talk. <laughs> Here he comes. How long have you been lurking? Long enough to feel the tension between. Wow, that's oh. cool. I'd recognize the patter of those Dang. fingertips anywhere. Hello, thing. He's all pumped up. He looks angry. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. It wasn't my fault. Oh. oh. That saved him 30 seconds. Five minutes later, we were still standing there. You're all fucked. 
You're all thumbs. Show me the diary. Wet Willy, wet Willy! Oh. Ooh. My former roommate couldn't handle my toxic personality. Yeah, you tried. I mean, didn't try, but you almost got her killed and she moved out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Born of mutation, the hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement or hypnosis. This act causes the hide to develop an immediate bond with its liberator. The creature now sees it's its master. That's why, that's why it doesn't hurt Wednesday. It thinks it's its master. That means it would have to be Wednesday, right? So it belongs to someone? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Part of the dorm experience is making friends with people that you wouldn't normally connect with. I'll survive alone. I always have. Petty, petty, petty. Yeah. Wednesday's like stuck in her ways right now. Uncle Fester? <laughs> Red Arnestead. That's who that is. You look him up. No, I just remembered his name. From SNL. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Uh -uh. Um, I need to talk to you. No, like, like right now. What are you freaking out about, Xavier? Yeah, I know where that is. Okay, bye. Who are you talking? Oh to? my God. Wednesday. Where did she come from? I know what you are, Xavier. Can you stay the hell away from me? He's so creepy. Don't worry. Uncle Fester's got you covered. Okay. That's it. Is he Morticia or Gomez's brother? Um, Look at that. What? I picked it up on my way out of Gomez. town. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it might be Morticia because like they call him either. Uncle Fester and not mm -hmm. Fester Adams. I well, could be wrong, though. I don't know. He's either Fester Adams or Fester Frump. That's awesome. I like the music. That's like the original Adam's Family. I feel like riding in a sidecar would just be terrible. Really? I think it could be relaxing. Who is he meeting with? It's gonna be someone weird, bro. It's gonna be like the therapist or something. I'm smart. I am so smart. It's his. It's her son. Is it? I don't know. Principal Weems. It is imperative I speak with you about Dr. Kinbot. Wednesday. We were just talking about you. Speak of the devil. Oh my god. Whoa! I was just discussing your assessment. I need to sign off on it before she hands it into the court. I've been reading about hypnotherapy. I think it might be a good technique to unlock my inner Wednesday. I'm seeing you on Monday. We can start then. What did you so urgently need to discuss? Oh. He's not going to say it now, yeah. Now if you'll excuse me. I have some homework I need to finish. Uh oh. Doctor Wednesday coming back. Hmm. The hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical and is... hypnosis. Ew. Mm. Dude, that, that actually like was so disgusting. It's not that bad. Uh, made you a quad on the house. Hey, thanks, kid. <laughs> need a refill on this puppy too. Hey, it's nice to. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, I can electrocute you. Funny joke. Is that? Is that me? What if he just said that? That's it from that night. Your father gave you explicit instructions not to be near me. You know, my dad's not here and I want to break. Well, apparently, a high needs to be unlocked by someone. It's master. Uh oh. Oh, dad's here. Dad's here. Putting these up around town is a bank robbery suspect and is a real creep. You that Fester? Me? I think no. so, bro. Yeah, he'd be pretty hard to miss. I'll pin on the bulletin board. Come on, dude. You're such an ass. They're just friends. He did get him in danger, or once they did take him to the monster and get scratched. So, about rescheduling our date. It all makes so much sense, dude. Yeah, no the, excuses. the therapist is the daughter that survived. Xavier's the son, her son, because he looks just like Gates did in high school. He looks exactly the same. Found it. The nail polish. That's what she was looking for. It's not a date. <laughs> 
It's a quid pro quo for almost getting him disemboweled. I think he's gonna paint his fingernails. Yeah. The crypt. Crackstone's crypt. This is where she saw um Goody. What is this? Tyler. What? What is going on? What a guy. Popcorn. <laughs> what? No one's ever taken you on a picnic inside a crypt before? This is a very nice gesture. They're gonna watch a movie? Wow. How do you feel about scary movies? Movies to her, I think. Aw, oh, that's, that's an almost smile there, I think. <laughs> I can't even imagine her giving someone a smooch. Legally blonde? What? <laughs> Oh my god. This is probably dude. a scary movie for her. Uh oh. Is she gonna walk in here? No. That was torture. I wouldn't be surprised. Thank you. They watched Illegally Blonde. Good movie. I want us to be more than friends. Oh, Tyler. Just snap out of it. Ah, uh, I don't know if Wednesday wants that. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. It's not gonna work. I almost killed you. I survived. Beginner's luck. I'm tougher than you think. This is cute. Yes. Kiss Rob. Kiss Rob. I always thought. Mistake. I always thought that Tyler was gonna be the weird boy. I like Tyler. It was Xavier. Uh oh. Don't tell me Dad walks in though. Ah. Oh. She was gonna kiss him. Tyler. Dad. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same the thing. The groundskeeper found a motorbike by the lake. It matches the description of the one the bank robber stole. Unbelievable. She was about to kiss him back. Yeah, that she was, was crazy. Uh, that was a wild almost kiss. Whoa. Oh no, her novel. Diary. Tyler definitely got knock her out. <laughs> What? What is leaking? No! No! Oh my god, someone just killed Thing. Someone straight up just fucking murdered Thing. No way! Help, help, help! Thing's not moving! He was stabbed! Get him on the table! Oh god. Get him on the table! <laughs> it's just a hand! Oh, she's crying, dude. Oh, dang. Um. Come on. One more. Third time's a charm. Oh, dang. Why'd they have to do that to him, bro? He was protecting the diary. Oh, my God. He's gone Wednesday. No, he's not. Thank if you can hear me, if you die, I will kill you. Oh, okay. Wednesday, he's dead. Now, again, please! I don't know if I think he's gonna come back. I think he might be long gone. Oh. Oh, Thing. Come back to us, Thing. For a minute, we thought you'd picked your last lock, buddy. Oh, I think he's still like roughed up. Knife from behind the back. Oh, he didn't see. I promise that whoever did this to you will suffer. And it will be slow, long, and excruciatingly painful. Oh, oh look at that wound, bro. Yeah, it's bad. I think he's gonna die. I'll lay low here tonight. Keep an eye on the patient, and I'll skedaddle in the morning. It'll always be my favorite Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You should have told Pugsy that. Damn. He's back, dude. Ew. Thing. Thing he's, is back, dude. That was scary. He was gone for like two minutes. I thought he was going to die. So you do know about the diary, which means you also know the monster we're after is called a hide. Uh-oh. He's just telling everyone about this shit. <laughs> 
If you suspect someone, you need to tell me. Why? All you've ever done is... Can't be Xavier, though, because they tested his DNA. Well, now we know it's two people, so... But Xavier can't be the master. What if it's Xavier and his, he's the master and the painting is his freaking hide? Printed these off my dad's computer. Everyone's Seems allowed in the nightshade yeah. society. Laurel Gates. Looks like he started right after Ravage Day. According to the British police report, Laurel was presumed drowned, but no body was ever recovered. Okay, so she's just not dead. Has never been dead. A year ago by a 90-year-old candy heiress. She then mysteriously died and gave all of her belongings to her caregiver. Teresa Oakwell. Who? It's an anagram for Laurel Gates. Oh. Laurel secretly buys her old house and then comes back to Jericho as someone else. Revenge on all the people she blames for her family's misfortunes. Your father. The coroner. <laughs> my parents. You know who Laurel is. Don't you? Mm, her, yes, her, her. It's the freaking therapist, bro. We don't have an appointment scheduled for today. I wanted to return something. Oh, the, the dance box? Thing? I found it in your old childhood room. Oh. I know you're Laurel Gates. And you've come back to Jericho to seek your revenge. Ooh. And so did Mayor Walker, which is why you had to kill him. The roses you left in Eugene's room were your mistake. They're the same variety I found. I feel like it might be a little too obvious. Maybe yeah. it's not her. No idea what you're talking about. There's only it one could reason be. overqualified Hill psychiatrists still. like yourself would settle in the inconsequential backwater that is Jericho. It allowed you to crawl through the troubled young minds of outcasts until you found one that you can manipulate to exact your revenge. Oh. I don't have time to deal with your delusional fantasies. I know all about the secret sessions you've been holding in your car. I also found the cave in the woods where you've been holding sessions to unlock his hide. You are so out of line. Oh, I feel like she is out of line. What's going on? Something wrong. Something bad is happening with Xavier. Time's up, Laurel. I don't know now. Yeah, I have no clue. I don't know if Wednesday's right or not. I wasn't aware that Wednesday had a session today. She didn't, and her behavior was completely irrational. Oh? Dr. Oh no, dude. What if, like, that might be Monster. It is monster, and she's dead, isn't is she? It, is it coming back for the th the thing? Okay, dude. It wasn't her, was it? <laughs> it wasn't her. That's who I thought it was. Well, Thornhill. Thornhill. That's, that's all I got. Thornhill. Or Xavier. Tyler. Don't rule him out. Or Tyler, yeah. Thornhill. She's gone. Dr. Kimbat's dead. Damned. Her eyes are never blinking. I feel like from their perspective, she looks so sus. Yeah. Like every time she goes somewhere. Why so is Wednesday Adams always involved with people getting hurt? Uh oh. Is Wednesday gonna be in here? Yeah. Oh. You've been spying on me, right? You're just literally straight accusing people of everything. Yeah. Your painting's been improving. I enjoy this one in particular. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Dr. Kimbot. What? What do you want? I'm asking the questions. Maybe he's the monster being controlled by someone? DNA didn't match. How do we know? Because they tested the DNA. How do they know if it's a high DNA, though? Are you Jean's glasses? Wait, why are these in here? Whoa, whoa. Are these stalker images you took of me? Kimbot's necklace. Uh oh. Somebody planted that stuff. Freeze! Drop the knife. Down on your knee. Oh no. You have the right to what? Bro, he's gonna get arrested. Whoa. Now someone else is gonna die. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's a little. Fuck. You framed me. I'm being set up. I should have let Rowan kill you. Oh. I, I just don't know who it is. Why would he say that? Oh, because Rowan pushed off the gargoyle and he. Saved her there. That's what he meant. I'm gone for a few days. The place gets trashed and thing almost dies. Someone's got to look out for you too. Why the sudden change of heart? Because we work. We shouldn't, but we do. It's like some sort of weird friendship anomaly. You guys do work together. I'm sorry about Xavier. I'm not. 
He's a liar and a killer. Besides, there's nothing quite like the feeling of being proven right. It's, it's not, not over yet, though, yeah. Wednesday. She's a bit. She's just very wrong. I feel like something. Yeah, something is going to happen. It's bad. I think it's Tyler. I hope not. Why? I like him. You should lock your doors. There's some real sick people out there. I think it's Tyler too. Ugh. Yeah, my dad told me what happened to Xavier. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it has made me reevaluate things. Uh oh. Like what? Like who I can trust. Mm hmm. Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? No. <laughs> Far from it. Yes. Uh oh. Or did she come here to finish the kiss? Oh gosh. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and hides. Whoa. Oh my. What the heck? Not what I was expecting. Oh, hold up. Look at his eyes. He blinked. They're closed. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Yep. Oh no. We guessed it. We guessed Tyler's it. Tyler's the hide boy. We guessed it. Who's his master? You okay? Oh shit. You need to go. We just guessed it. Rob? But that means he's being controlled by someone. Yeah, yeah. Who's his master? His dad. Thornhill. He goes to Thornhill for therapy. Or no, not no. no. His dad. Of course, the first boy I kissed would turn out to be a psychotic serial <laughs> killing monster. Oh. I guess I have a type. That's crazy, bro. And Who's we blamed controlled? Xavier. It was it was Tyler. We guessed it literally right when she walked in. I'm like, I mean, he's been in the top three for a couple episodes now. I like, confirm. I can. I confirm. Locked it in right when she walked in there. I don't know. I why. mean, we just eliminated the two of like the top. Four he was pretty so much the yes. only one left, honestly. And Thornhill. We're not. We're not revolutionaries. Yeah, I mean, for... Thornhill could still be the master. Like, I think the master. she has to be the master. Yeah. I think the dad's gonna be the master. But I feel like. He actually has no clue what the hell is going on. <laughs> I, I don't think that he is the master. Um, I think it could be Thornhill. Other than that, I have no clue. I really don't know. But that's wild that Tyler is the monster. I, do you? Th he might not even know that he's the monster. That's like, what I'm saying. If like, he's being controlled, he, he might not even be aware of what he is. He's a hide. But, 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 but the way that they described hides, isn't that like... Wouldn't that mean like his dad would be a hide or like someone, his mom would be a hide or something? No, because he thought that the therapist unlocked Xavier. Like they had no relation to each other. He thought she was sitting here waiting, uh, giving people therapy, seeing who like she could, who figure out who was a hide, who she could take advantage of. So I don't think there has to be any relation like that, but... I just mean like, can two humans like give birth to a child that's a hide? I have no clue. I don't know. So that means Tyler scratched himself. Dude, I feel like it. I still think it's Thornhill. I think she's the master because like her and Tyler know each other. Like when. Yeah, the whole coffee thing. The coffee thing. Yeah. When, oh, it's her. When she yeah. brought him to the dance, they like were sitting there talking. Like mm -hmm. he like her. knew his last name and shit. Like. It's 100% Thornhill now that you... I, I just remembered the coffee scene. Yeah. That That is so sus now that I think about it. Like, what happened with the coffee? He he was like... Who said... She said something about like, oh, you're here all the time or something like that. Or like, how do I know you? Yeah. And she was like, oh, it's because I get my coffee like this and you're the one that serves mm -hmm. me or whatever. And it just seemed like a, a made up excuse whenever she said it. I do want to know if, if that is the case, if he has any clue of what he's doing. Because, like, then he he scratched himself then at the house? Like, what what was that? Mm -hmm. That's super weird. I feel bad for Xavier now, though, because he's just been innocent. Like, he didn't do anything wrong. 
I didn't think it was Xavier. I mean, they made it way too obvious yeah. with the paintings and everything. Yeah, it would have been really obvious. I never actually thought it was not, it was X. R.I.P. Kimbot, though, man. I thought it was her. <laughs> She's dead. It's, it's just crazy. I ah, uh, it's so sad. And thankfully, Thing is alive. Yeah, that was almost a tr- fucking tragic moment, dude. Thing almost died. I mean, I feel like he did die, and yeah. Fester brought him back. Speaking of which, we met Uncle Fester this episode, which is wild. We're not going to see him again now. Yeah, I think this was the Uncle Fester episode. He popped in for a visit, but he was awesome. He was really funny. I Kiki really liked Uncle Fester. I really liked uh, his little addition to this episode. I honestly thought Thing was going to die. Like, I thought that he was Same. done for. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really surprised that they brought him back. I thought that was going to be like the death, like the death of this show. I, I feel like it easily could have been, but I'm actually, I'm glad that Thing is alive because he's one of my favorite characters in this, and I would have been sad if he died. They, yeah. st- they stabbed him from behind. How how can he not see behind? How him? can you sneak up on a hand? Yeah. Yeah. So they did. They locked up the wrong guy. Now Tyler. I mean. <laughs> I still feel like Tyler could maybe not be the monster. Nah, he's got to be. He's right? the monster, I think. The visions sometimes tell lies, though. So this next episode is the last episode, right? Oh, yeah, the first yeah, yeah. season. Yeah. So that means we didn't even see Crackson or anything. Maybe that fight is gonna happen next season. Maybe it happens next episode. I don't know. I could see it happening next episode. I could see it as well. But I feel I think like that we, definitely could be the climax. But we need to get Tyler out of here. Wasn't there like a thing that they said before? Like, I think her mom told her that maybe like the visions aren't 100% always like accurate or They're something. They're dependent on your emotions or whatever. Something. Yeah. I mean, just if, the, if he's not actually the monster, like, come on, please just tell us who the actual monster is. What like, if- I feel like they just keep tricking us every single episode. It's this person. It's this person. It's this person. Well, like- the person was living in the house and ran over the blue cat with the blue Cadillac, the mayor. I still think the master is Laurel uh, Gates. Yeah. It's just we don't know who Laurel Gates is. But we do. What if it's Weems? Nah. No, I don't think Because Weems was like a person. Like, she was a, a student at the school when all these people existed. Like, I don't, I don't think it though. could be her. But she's not the monster, though, so she'd have to be the master. So her transforming means nothing. But they're getting revenge, they said, on, like, people that wronged the Gates family. So is there anyone, like, next up that... I don't know. Obviously, her parents... But, like, they're not in town, so I don't think that's a thing anymore. Crackstone, maybe. I don't know. I mean, we know the Crackstone's coming back. I mean, with all the, like, blood will rain, or I will rain. It'll rain blood. The blood will rain when I rise. Yeah, like, Crackstone's coming back. We sort of forgot about that. We're so caught up in the master and the, the, the hide that it, Crackstone is going to rain blood, and he's going to come back. The fire will rain. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. If you haven't liked all of our Wednesday reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. The first one's going to be for our Patreon. We have the full uncut watch alongs over there as well as a bunch of early access for you, so check that out. Second link is going to be for our Discord. Come talk to us about Wednesday. We're in there all the time. We have a super dope community, so stop by, chat with us. The rest of the links are going to be for all of our social medias. Give us a follow, and at the very bottom, you will see the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera for our show mail time like everything you see behind us right now and with all that being said guys we will see you next time for the season one finale of wednesday peace out